Sim, did you see a video of Kai saying fastest in America is rigged for JJ to win? Don't know if you talked about it already. I haven't talked about that yet already. And I haven't seen the video of Kai saying that. I do know that at the end of season two of Fastest in America, there was a whole bunch of drama about that. Team Nola, because it, it wasn't just Kai, it was Nola as a whole. They were saying that, that like drivers weren't being told to lose. Because I feel like when people hear the phrase rigged with Street Outlaws, the first thing they think of is people purposely losing. What Nola was saying is that they kept changing things to make it to where Memphis had the best possibility of winning. For instance, they moved the location of the starting line for the, it was again, I believe season two of fastest in America. They moved the location of the starting line to a place where only Memphis had tested before. And the thing is no one else tested there because everyone else was told they weren't going to be racing there. And also they weren't allowed to test there in the first place, but Memphis was able to do so a whole bunch of drama and stuff. Again, this was years ago. So I don't want to dive into the details of that too much, but with this show right here, I find it funny that it gets brought up again and again, because like with Memphis being there automatically in the finals for the first two seasons, it kind of made sense how, it, they were trying to make it to where Memphis won. If they only have to race in the finals, they have the best chance of winning out of anyone from that standpoint alone. So I could understand people complaining about it there. Then Memphis had to race from the beginning. People still complain about, it. oh, Memphis, they're rigging it to make it so they can win again. Kind of putting them in the best case scenario to allow them to win. But then with this show right here, like I have felt like throughout this show, it seems to have been relatively even. but. I saw, I think it was last week when they first moved to this new location later on in that episode, there was some drama there where a couple of calls were going certain directions and those certain directions tended to be in favor of Memphis. So with stuff like that, I can understand how people say, oh yeah, that's just directly rigging it because like these crazy calls are being made in their favor. And if a crazy call is made in this team's favor one time, that's just an anomaly. That, that's just the way things happen. But when those crazy calls are happening in one team's favor again and again and again and again, you start to think things seem a little weird. And I like Memphis. I like their cars. I like them. I love JJ on the show. And I find it so unfortunate that we have to talk about this because like, I feel like it is a legitimate thing. Like the, even if Memphis don't want it like that, the producers are going to be making it to where they put them in the best position to win because that is most likely what would do good in the end. They want their stars to do good. They want their stars to win because I assume they believe that that's how they get more views and in turn make more money and in turn are able to make more shows and make even more money as a result of that. So they want Memphis to win. Does Memphis want to win like that? I don't know. I'm sure a lot of people will say yes. I don't I don't want to say that that's how they want to win. I assume JJ and them would want to race heads up and be like, because like they got rid of the arm drop chases race, all that stuff. So I assume JJ wants to do the heads up race stuff. They want to win like legitimately, but unfortunately, with it again, it all ties back to the reality TV show side of things, and you have to go to the business side of things. TV wants their stars to be there and win, so they're going to do whatever it takes to make their guys win in the end. And with Kai Kelly calling them out again, I don't know if that is actually legit or not. I haven't seen that myself, Chris. Man, I'm not trying to. Uh, say you're lying or anything like that. But again, I haven't seen it myself, so I don't want to directly say it. But if that is what Kai said, I would assume once again, it's an issue with not necessarily JJ, but with how the producers are going about executing the show as a whole. If I had to guess. Michael Bowman, that's a good point. Yeah, but Kai was not the host. Same for JJ. If he lost more, they would need to find a new host. But like, so we say the, the reason why JJ always wins is because he's the host. They want the hosts to win. But is JJ the host because he wins or does he win because he's the host? That's a little question there to get you guys thinking.